What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. We are early today because EA released the Road to the World Cup promo content now. Not the icon content, we'll still see that at 6 o'clock, but we have got lots of the 10 coin pack. Oh, is that a re-up? Or is that still there? I feel like that's a... Oh, it's Spain, never mind, don't worry. I don't know if that's a re-up or if that's... Uh... Or if that's um... Molina. Or if I just didn't open it on this account. I think that's a re-up. That's nice. 10 coin pack, guys. If they come every now and then, that'd actually be pretty legit. All right, we've got... So oh, wow. It's actually lightning rounds. And they haven't sold out in 27 minutes. EA are washed. EA, EA fell off. <laughs> also, thanks for making a game that I get a living from. Um, right. I wish we could, like, store player picks and open them when we want it. Isn't it like, I don't understand why EA have that. I, I, I believe it's one of those things that they didn't expect to happen where it's like you've got player picks, but you can't open packs until you open the player picks. But I also believe that it's one of those things that they don't care happened and so they won't fix it. But I don't think it was intentional because it just is illogical to have somebody be like, yeah, you have to do this before you can spend more money. Walk out! England, never mind. Never mind. Um, hey, nice little Trent there. Let's see if we can pack one of these up. Uh, Go on, Shezzers, the old Arsenal pass of present. I hate the fact that it takes me over there as well. There is a promo team, guys. So we're obviously going to have a look at the promo team. We've got three, six, nine, ten players in the promo team, including a game breaker, a genuine game breaker. You've never seen anything like it. No, not Modric, not Son, not Mbappe. No, Ben White. Ben White, he is a game breaker. 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 88 defending, 84 physical. What? Let's get some FIFA points real quick. That's right, we're spending money. We're spending money out here. Boom. Boom, here we go. Thank you very... No, don't, no, don't, don't thank me, EA and Sony. Thank you. Thank you for letting me waste uh, my hard-earned cash on this game. Um... All right, we'll open two more and then we'll go and look at the content. Come on, give me one of these new promo cards. Also, stop giving me the player picks. I don't care. I don't care. Look at how, how terrible that is. Zachariah. The Swiss looking good to get out of the group, to be fair, aren't they? One win. Upa Meccano. Super Upa. Third. Le Mans. Nice little... Uh, oh, good for the French boys, that one, isn't it? Oh, my days. Jesus Christ, those picks were actually all right. Oh, like, you know, it doesn't make any difference. Right, we'll open one more, and then I won't open the picks. Um, Here we go. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Give me one of these new promo cards. Ooh, Winform Walker. Oh, wait, that's best of. German. Send him in. Tony Kroos. Oh, let's go. He is actually one of the best of the best ofs. Oh, yeah. 60. Oh, wow. He's barely worth more than a pack. All right. Let's go and have a look at what the objectives are. Yeah, you saw them there. You, I saw you saw. Road to the FIFA World Cup. Toko Ikambi. Can't get his player attributes. Score with a finesse shot in squad battles or rivals in five separate matches. Assist six goals using forwards. Score seven goals from League One. And win seven matches. Just win seven in ri rivals or squad battles. You will almost do this accidentally. Which is brilliant. And that's how these players should be, I reckon. Um, he's got good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing. Obviously, we can't actually see his in-game stats because it's bugging out. But he is there. And then, obviously, we have a new player of the month, Moise Keane. And I genuinely think Moise Keane looks fantastic. Four-star, four-star with great in-games for about 30k. I think he's a banger. I think he's a genuine banger. Um... Ooh, Black Friday, Flash Challenge 1. A France, England, or German 83 plus pack and an 80 plus 3 world players pack. How long is that there for? Another two hours. So plenty of time on that. If you're just watching this video now, uh, anywhere between 2.30 and 4.30, you've got plenty of time. An 80 rated squad with 25 chemistry. Players from one club is minimum three. Leagues minimum three. In the same country or region, maximum five. Nice and easy to get that pack. So not too bad. And then... Nothing else outside of that. That's fine. Maybe today we get... Oh, there's a Black Friday tab. That's got a Flash Challenge there. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So outside of that, guys, we have got those brand new players. And there they are. So it is an 85 Jesus Corona. He can play right wing, right mid, and left wing. He's 100k on the market at the moment. Oh, that, oh, that is a nice card. Five star, five star. Early crosser. Really nice dribbling. Good physicals. Great positioning, good pace. I think an engine on him, I think that is an outrageously good card. For already under 100k, that's mad. Now, from what I understand, I, I can't verify this just yet, but from what I understand, these cards are not upgradable. Um, that, is an, that is a crazy good card because he's actually got great positioning. His finishing isn't the best, but shot power and long shots is decent. Volleys is very good. Defending is well-rounded. That's a really cool card. I think as an engine in a 3-5-2 or a, as a winger or something like that, great vision, great crossing, great short passing, great curve, lovely. We've also got Matheus Nunez. So he's been given a big upgrade overall. A plus 7 overall, but only plus 4 pace. He's 200k. He's 3-star, three 3-star, three which sucks a little bit. Dribbling's quite nice. Passing's all right. Physical's quite nice. Jumping's pretty bad. Six foot tall. I think I'd go for a shadow on him. He's all right. He's all right. I, I, I'm surprised that Corona is under 100k and he's 200k because I, I think there's plenty midfielders that are very similar to this card. The only thing that kind of gives him a bit more oomph is the fact that he's Portuguese from the Premier League, which really helps with like linking to Ronaldo and things like that. That's a good card, but I'm not blown away by that. We've also got Dries Mertens. Oh, they there, there you go. This is the new card type. He can play centre forward, cam and striker for Dries Mertens. He's Belgian, which is great. He's only been given a plus two from his regular cards, which is a bit sad. However, four star, four star. Finesse shot trait, outside the foot shot trait. Reasonable stamina. Man, I'm, I'm really liking the engine these days, man. Great dribbling boost, good pace boost, good passing boost. I think shooting's so broken in this game anyway that you don't really need to work on shooting. High-low work rates. He's all right. Again, I'm surprised he's that much, especially given the price of Corona. But Dries Mertens is there. We've got Timo Werner. Can play center forward, striker, and left wing. Only 125k already. How is Matheus Nunez so expensive? Three-star, four-star sucks, obviously. Pace is very good. Yeah, this card isn't actually that great, is it? I might even go for a finisher here. Yeah, get that shooting up. Get that dribbling up. And that pace is already very good with four-star weak foot. No traits, but... Yeah, I can, I can kind of see why he's not really a meta player these days for Timo Werner. We've then got the best player in the whole promo team, Ben White. 250k makes sense. That I've, I actually think that's 2.5 million and Footbin have just made a mistake. Four-star weak foot. Good physicals, brilliant passing, very good dribbling for a, a centre-back. With a shadow chem style, boom. Oh, man, that is a banging card. Genuinely a banging card. That is an absolute banger. And for the Arsenal past and present, or the, just the Arsenal team in general, Erdegaard, a beast. White now a beast. Smithrow, a beast. Zinchenko, a beast. Jesus, due an upgrade to 86, a beast. In the new meta, Martinelli's much better. Uh, Saliba a beast Gabriel a beast now Ben White as well let's go baby you love to see it um, Jorginho Wijnaldum 250k on him 3 star 4 star see now this for me is way better than Matheus Nunez ok a bit less pace but dribbling is really nice passing's nice defending is really nice 4 star weak foot physical's really nice I think you've got a couple of options with this Wijnaldum Either you go for an anchor or a shadow and play him as a DM. Good pace, great defending, or an anchor to get that physical up. Or you go for something a bit more creative and go for like a, a dead eye or an artist. Ah, see, I don't like the passing boost there. I like the passing boost there. Yeah, see, him as a cam there is so good. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Maybe you go for the engine. Boost that pace, boost that passing, boost that... That is a nice card, man. That is a nice card. Uh, we've got... Luis Suarez. He's been given 15 pace and 11 dribbling. He's only 3-star, 4-star. He can only play striker, centre forward. He does have outside the foot shot trait. 98 composure, 98 reactions. 
Don't talk to me about this card. It's a beast. Give him a hunter. Now, tell, let me tell you something about the way FIFA works, right? 97 acceleration is banging. 90 sprint speed is banging. 99 positioning, finishing, and shot, 95 shot power, banging. Passing is good for a striker. Strength and aggression are banging. Stamina is okay. Jumping and heading, who cares? Although he is six foot tall. These dribbling stats, it's, it's like my feelings with like Morientes and Papin. A lot of people seem to think that you have to have the high agility, high balance players to perform well in this game. And I think if you're using them as wingers, you do. But for strikers, I don't think it's that necessary. And I think Luis Suarez on a hunter is an absolutely sensational player. Oh, he's coming through as Uruguay player. Oh, I wonder how he links in game. I wonder if he, if he gets full chemistry. Or if he only links to other Uruguayans. Which isn't too bad because Forland, Valverde, Darwin Nunez, Araujo, that Vina card if you're going to get him, the two, uh, the two boys here in Stuani is like not bad. There, there are some players to link to him, but that's going to be interesting to see how, how he links. Very peculiar. We've then got Marquinhos. Oh dear, 1.4 million coins. Not quite as good as Ben White, but he's almost there. Give him an anchor or a... Uh, yeah, give him an anchor. Yeah, I mean, he's just a beast, isn't he? He's just a beast. Great dribbling, great passing, great physicals, great defending, very good pace. Man, the power curve. It's just going, isn't it? It's just going. We've got Luka Modric. 600k. Four-star, four-star. Outside the foot shot trait. Great dribbling. Great passing. Reasonable defending, good pace. They've given him a nice pace boost, haven't they? Five pace. I don't know where I'd play this card. I'd probably use him as a center mid. A box-to-box -box mid. I don't know if I'd use him as a cam. Maybe I would. Four-star, four-star. I mean, you can go with a dead eye on him. and I mean, yeah, that pass, yeah. I probably would use him as a cam. I might even go with an engine on him as well. Get that pace up, get that dribbling up, get that passing up. 91 rated cam. That's nice. But you could use him defensively as a secondary box-to-box -box or a centre mid in like a 4-3-1-2 or something like that. But that's quite a nice card. I, I, I would say that's underwhelming a little bit. I, I would say like he's, he's like on, on par with like Wijnaldum and Matias Nunez. I don't think he's like necessarily spectacularly better. Pyong Min Son, left wing, left mid. Four-star, five-star. Yeah, banging card. And there is only one chem style for him here, and it is the engine. Get that balance up. Get that agility up. Get that dribbling up. Get a pace up. Get a passing up. Shooting is brilliant. Stamina is brilliant. Four star, five star, six foot tall. Finesse shot trait. Long shot trait. Doesn't have outside the foot shot trait, but Jung Min's son of dreams. That is a phenomenal card. And then last but not least, guys, Killian Mbappe. Mbappe, left wing as well. Seven million... Are you sure these cards don't upgrade? Mbappe's 92 is 1.8 million. There is no way people are paying 5 million extra coins for plus ones and twos. There's just no way. He didn't even get a pace boost. They don't upgrade. That's mad. That's mad that his price is 7 million coins. I mean, obviously, Mbappe is a beast, right? 5-star, 4-star is nice. Outside the foot shot trait, brilliant. High-low work rate is brilliant. I mean, he's got already the top pace, so you either go for a maestro on him. I think you've got three chem styles here. A marksman, shooting up. Oh, yeah, I mean, I probably would go for marksman. Jumping in strength as well. You could go with a maestro because it would boost his passing a bit. And shooting and dribbling again, which I quite like as well. Alternatively, you go with a dead eye and boost that short pass in, and then he gets maxed out finishing. I, I think the marksman's probably the one there. 95 rated center forward, that's mad. This one, anyway. Still will go with a marksman. It's, as I said, it's only plus ones and twos. It, it's honestly crazy. Wrong Mbappe? Not really, though, because. Like, it's still only a 95 rated centre forward. It's like, you really aren't getting much out of having this Mbappe over the inform Mbappe. Like, there, I, I would guarantee that you would feel almost no difference in game between the two. 
And yet, has he actually sold? That's the question. No, nobody has actually bought a version of Mbappe. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, right? Because we're going to have to wait and see what he actually sells for rather than what people are listing him for. Um, I, I have a feeling he should be around the 2.4, 2.5 million mark. That's where I would put him at. But there you go, guys. So that's the new content for today. For now, Moise Keen, Black Friday Flash Challenge is there. Go grab that. The 10 coin pack is there. The brand new team is out. I would still wait to open your packs until 6 p.m., guys, because the World Cup hit, uh, icons are going in packs at 6 p.m. Wait for those, in my opinion. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later for another one. I'm out. Peace.